Welcome to another Way in Wednesday, where each week we explore and discover maybe a new way that you can look at what you're doing on your health and wellness journey. So as you can see, I am not in my office. I'm actually in the middle of Manhattan. I'm in Central Park. And I'm here for about three or four days for a couple of events that I'm attending. So what I wanted to share with everybody today was the challenge that we have when we are going out of town, no matter where it is. We could be just going like I did over the river into Manhattan, or we could be going halfway across the world. It seems like we will have the best of intentions if we're on a particular plan, that when we go away, we're going to exercise and we're going to eat okay. But what I find more often than not, most of us, probably 80% of the time, have the best of intentions and what we actually do when we're away is we don't stay on track and usually in the first day a lot of times we're like well you know what maybe I'll just have a drink tonight maybe I'll have dessert um, you know I'm not in the mood that there was a long trip I got some jet lag I'm not gonna work out when I get home I'm gonna get back on track so it's not that that's right or wrong but I want you to consider a, another thought and here's what I will tell you that I found this really helped me and I did it this week before I left to come to Manhattan before you go anywhere, actually like the same way that you would plan a vacation, sit down and think about what your schedule is going to be like and actually plan time in for you to do whatever. It could be just walking, it could be stretching in front of TV, it could be going to the hotel gym, it could be going to a gym that's in town. And as important, what you really want to do as much as you can is find out where are you going to be eating? What are you going to have? And actually look at menus ahead of time because what you're going to find is it's actually a lot of fun. When you start to look and plan out the trip before you leave, you will anticipate and look forward to it. And you may decide, look, I'm going to be gone for a whole week. So I want to plan one or two nights that I really, you know, maybe I add an extra indulgence or I take an indulgence bonus point that night on something. Just plan ahead of time. And I tell you, you will find it shocking at how much easier it is. So what ends up happening is you feel great before you go because you're anticipating the trip. You know a little bit more about what you're going to be doing. You have a plan in place. You go away. You really feel powerful because you stayed on your plan. And then what's even better, when you get home, it's not like, oh, i got to get back to the gym and, oh, i got to start eating better again. So actually create your future before you step into it, and you're going to find that it makes a major difference in your health and wellness journey, not only on this challenge over our eight weeks, which are before you know it, we got about three weeks left to go, but just in life in general. The planning ahead of time makes a big, big difference. It's the old line that's, that you've heard many times, if we fail to plan, then we plan to fail. So take that on the next time you're going on a trip. Uh, I'd love to hear about how that works for you, but I think you will find it really works very well. So until next Wednesday, keep doing the great work that you guys are doing, and I'll talk to you next Wednesday.